Hey everybody, it's Denise back with Keto with Denise. And today we're going to talk about keto and grains. I know that uh, we've said that we don't uh, consume grains when we're on the keto journey, and that is true. I have a lot of new clients that come on board and wanna know why can't they eat the oatmeal or the pasta and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna show you why we don't consume grains on our keto journey, okay? So what I have for you on the board is simply a list of some of the commonly consumed grains that people enjoy long before their keto journey. And some people still wanna uh, consume them on the journey, but these are things that will raise your glycemic index, that will raise your insulin level because of the high glycemic index or mainly the high carbs that are listed here. So our total carbs for the day on healthy keto that we wanna look at is 20 grams to 50 grams a day. And if you've got a lot of weight to lose, then you're gonna be closer to the 20 grams of carbs a day and sometimes lower than that, okay? So just keep that in mind as we're looking at the carb counts in these foods, okay? So let's start with the white rice. Very common, very uh, uh, regular in the American diet, right? For anything, some people eat it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, you never know. So one cup of white rice, and we um, show that that's 45 carbs. Remember, carbs turn to sugar in the body. Even though it's low in the actual sugar content, uh, little to no fiber and uh, a little bit of protein. Keep in mind that this has been processed. These are grains that have been processed where most of that grain has been removed, even the fiber, the, uh, the nutrients, vitamins, etc. And that's what you're left with, 45 grams of carbs and just one cup of rice. And if my target is 20 to 50 and more like 20, I'm way over with just that one item. This is what we're seeing that is contributing to the health crisis that's going on in so many people's bodies, right? Brown rice, one cup, you'll see that it's looking just like um, the white rice. People say, well, brown rice is better for you. Can you really tell that? No, because the body doesn't know the difference either. And there is no difference when you look at the makeup. Brown rice is a whole grain, yes. White rice is a refined grains, and they really do turn to sugar a lot faster in the body, but look at the amount of carbs that's in one cup of brown rice as well with nominal uh, fiber and protein content. So that would be a no, and that's why we continue to say no to white rice and brown rice on your keto journey. Let's take a look at crackers. In this example, I just used Ritz crackers. Why? Because I was a diehard fan of Ritz crackers. And the serving size is only five crackers. Now, if you're like me, you know you don't eat five crackers in a serving. How, how can you? They're just that good, right? I would do 10, 15, depends on what I'm eating them with. But I'm going to, I would enjoy them when I did, but not anymore. Here's why. Five crackers has 10 carbs in them. You know that's a lot of sugar. It's, it's showing 1.2 sugar, but in the body, this turns to sugar. This is a refined carb, so it's going to turn to sugar really quickly in your body. So if I look at this and do the math, for every four grams of carbs is one teaspoon of sugar. So that's two teaspoons of sugar and just five crackers? No wonder. So not a whole lot of nutritional uh, uh, on the other end of it. White bread, one slice of white bread is 50 grams of carbs. Remember, these will not show a lot of sugar content in most of this. It's the carbs that will turn to the sugar in your body based on these being refined carbs and how they're processed, okay? So no to the crackers and no to the white bread. So let's look at the whole wheat bread, which is, uh, again, taunted to be better for you. But when you look at the chemistry, the makeup of carbs, the nutritional information in it, you're not seeing much of a difference between white bread and whole wheat bread. Actually, this is a multi-grain bread, one slice, 18 grams of carbs in one slice. Now, if you're making sandwiches and you're doing things like that, you're not typically going to do one slice of bread. You're going to do two slices of bread in both of these cases, right? So just do the math. You're talking 30 grams and just two slices of bread. And we tend to, I, I knew I was a big bread eater. I would go through bread, I'd have the sandwich, I'll have the toast at breakfast, and then at uh, dinner I'd have some form of bread, a roll or something else. And I was, honestly, I was doing my body a huge disservice, okay? 
Spaghetti pasta, common. I hit this question, I had a client ask me, can I have lasagna? And after I'd gone through all the explanations of all of this, I still got the question, can I have lasagna? So, you know, it's the foods that people really like that they um, really are addicted to. It's the content of the sugar in it that makes it one of those go-to foods or something that you want. And pasta, spaghetti pasta is one of them. So one cup of spaghetti pasta is 40 grams. One cup spaghetti pasta is 40 grams of carbs. Remember I said you that in this case, you've got a, a lot of sugar in it, but for the most part, the nutritional information is not there. This is going to turn to sugar in the body. It is a refined grain, which means it's been processed and the nutrients and stuff have been stripped out of it anyway. But we have made it one of the staples in our diets and it's one of those things that's gotta go. So we say no to the breads, as we say no to the spaghetti pasta. And I left the macaroni in it because hey, I'm a macaroni girl, at least I was anyway, before I started keto. And this was not just plain macaroni, by the way, these numbers are dry. This is before you've cooked it in its state, right? So this macaroni pasta, one cup, a whopping 78 grams of carbs. I'm screaming because I used to eat so much pasta, so much macaroni and cheese to where I, I'm telling you, it was one of those great staples in the Thanksgiving and all these other special occasion meals, 78 grams of carbs. It's a refined grain, which means again, it turns to sugar in the body, although it's not reflective of sugar in its dry state, not a whole lot of sugar, 14 protein uh, in it. But guys, this is the stuff that is causing the insulin resistance, the high, uh, insulin release in your body, the high sugar content, the fat stores in the body because of this stuff right here. So we're going to say no to the macaroni pasta. And this, everybody, is why we don't do grains on keto. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Hi, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And by the way, click the bell too, so that you'll be notified when there's new content like this. Thank you again for watching.